Is it almost time? Almost time for what, Ricky? It is autumn. I just took out my tree. This is it. Ooh, I'm so happy with it. Looks like I threw some random shit on. <laughs> Your hair. The guy saw me. <laughs> We're about to throw up everything we just have. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, he's so creepy. Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Dare I say, is it almost time? Almost time for what, Ricky? Here, let me give you a little hint. It's the most wonderful time of the year. These were an impulse buy. I went to Disneyland a few days ago. I almost walked out of the store and I was like, why don't I just get these? $35 well spent, I would say. In case you haven't realized, it is autumn. We are in our autumnal, cozy Halloween era. And that's mostly just like a state of mind for me because I live in LA. We're probably gonna have sunny, clear skies throughout the entirety of the autumn season. But in this realm that I call my apartment i can try to make it cozy and fun i think it's finally time that i put up my holiday tree and i say holiday tree because it's sort of like a halloween christmas thing combined christians i'm so sorry but holiday tree it is i've also switched things up just for the tree but i'm really liking the new setup kind of i'll show you right now what i'm talking about so you know the gallery wall right so i ended up putting this desk that was normally here over there and this thing was normally there Put it over here. Oh, you're not supposed to see that yet. <laughs> sorry, sorry, okay. So normally that is over there. So I switched it up just because I'm gonna probably put the tree here. Last year, my holiday tree was over there. I kind of want it here. I feel like it'd be more cozier, more vibey. And you're probably asking yourself, Ricky, what the hell is all this? Dear viewer, in case you didn't know, I'm now a caterpillar farmer. And I've been taking care of these little guys. You see them up there? They're hanging. They're about to become a cocoon. You can see. Some of them already cocoons. There they are. Look at them hang. Do you see that? That's a caterpillar right there. He's kind of falling behind. They were all born at the same time. I don't know why that one's falling behind. Well, anyway, this is not what this vlog is about. Just ignore that. But anyway, yeah, my tree used to be there. I'm gonna put it here. But I've also, but I've also, what am I, what am I saying? But I've also changed the layout of my room. My bed used to be on that wall, facing this way. This mirror is here for now. For outfits and stuff, you kind of have the bed in the background and it looks aesthetically pleasing, but I kind of want to get a French style armoire, the mirror door. I think that would look cool here. Just looks cozier, the feng shui, the energy just flows. Yeah, so I have this big empty space right here where the tree is gonna go. Let's put these back on. They just complete me right now. But how about a Halloween haul? I have already started doing some Halloween shopping. You gotta start early here because the white women get to those stores and clean them out. So I'm right there with them, just like boxing for the holiday decorations. Let's start off with things I got on Amazon. First, got this Halloween string fairy lights. They're orange. In case y'all don't know, my tree is black and I like putting white ornaments, but the light Lights are orange. So I just got a three pack because I want to put more lights on it. I thought it looked cool. So another thing I got, last year I put a bunch of these on and I just got more. So they're jack-o'-lantern ornaments. They have little jack-o'-lantern faces. They're all white. That's kind of like my aesthetic. If you just like look around my apartment, that's what I like. Okay, let's look at, they're either I got this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This is a small little ceramic ghost that lights up. Pretty cute, huh? Bats down here, his little eye. I like the phallus shape, you know? Yeah, so if you like that one, you're definitely gonna like this one. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger. This one also, isn't it cute? Look at it. This one doesn't have bats, it just has the eyes, but I thought they would look cool like in a corner somewhere. This is a ceramic pumpkin. So like the ghost, it also lights up. I think I need to put batteries in this though. Okay, I got one more thing to add to my Halloween decor. I think you might have seen this earlier. This canvas I got at Michael's. Michael's has a big Halloween section this year and they have this in the Halloween section and I'm like, wait, this kind of looks like something I would put year round. This also lights up. I think I need to put batteries in it. I forget where, but there's lights that light up and it looks like it's on fire almost, which I don't really care for. I kind of think it's a little cheesy. It makes it a little bit cheesy. I just love this and I think it would look good year round. We're gonna test it out during the season and see how it looks, but just picture it here. Okay, so because I have a bunch of mirrors, I was thinking of getting rid of this one, not getting rid of it. I, I'm obviously gonna keep this one because look at how beautiful this is. Instead of having this mirror here, I would put that, that uh, canvas up there. Oh my God, I just stepped on the caterpillars. No, I mean, I didn't really step on it. I just kind of kicked it. Relax, Rick. So I put the canvas up there, get a cool like, um, what can I speak? What's the border thing? Canvas, portrait, 
um, why can't I think of the word for this thing? What is this? I'm gonna remember it later and I'm gonna be so mad at myself. But do you see what I did with this? It's the same, it's a canvas. I just bought an extra one of those and just put it around. So that's what I'm thinking of doing over there with this. It's a little bit bigger. Um, we just gotta find the, fuck, whatever the border thing is. Urgh, Ricky, think. Yeah, so as of now, that is the plan to put up the tree. We're gonna put up the other Halloween decorations as the week goes on. And I'm hoping to inspire you to put up some Halloween decorations. Or at least, you know, watch this video. Have yourself a pumpkin spice latte. Just really rejoice in the season that is coming. Oh, the greatest autumnal season. The leaves are gonna change not here in LA, but somewhere in the world. They're gonna change orange and it's going to be beautiful. And it's gonna be beautiful in here. And honestly, that's all that really matters because my reality is in here. <laughs> all right, I just took out my tree. There it is in three pieces, all my extra ornaments. These are the new ones. I guess I only had this many before. I thought I had more, honestly. But I also have these, kind of stylish looking. Right, right, right. Couldn't remember if I had a tree skirt, and I do. Thank goodness. Ricky, you really think about everything. I did have another box that I was looking through and I was not really feeling the decor anymore. Let me show it to you, actually. So I bought a lot of this stuff a few years ago. I used to put these up. I would put like white flowers around them. Oh, there's one right there, actually. But it's just looking a little bit, a little bit old now. I did get these at the, like, I think the 99 cents or the Dollar Tree or something, which is probably why three years later they look like this. It's just not giving anymore, you know? There are a few things that I do like in here that I think I got this one last year and it just goes really well with the other ceramic stuff that I got it's also a little lamp but I think you have to actually put the light in which is why I left that in there okay, I have this little plush thingy that David got for me I think this is from Target and let's see if it still works actually <laughs> Okay. So she's still cute. I'm keeping her. I'm keeping her. What is this? This big bag of black and white roses. Not really sure if I'm gonna put those up. This is the thing with decor. See, plastic decor is affordable. The only thing is that it doesn't look good as the years go on. That's the thing with plastic, which is why I started getting the ceramic stuff. So for now, we're gonna focus on the tree. Tree has been fluff. I put a witch hat up there. David got me this a couple days ago. It looks very whimsical, doesn't it? So I just took out the tree lights and I am not liking that they look orange AF. See, the old lights I had are orange also, but they're like muted, almost clear, very dark, which is what I wanted. These, <laughs> these look like they're yelling at you. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna just use this for up there the ambiance effect maybe around the fireplace mantle I'm not sure, but I think I'm just gonna use the old lights. That's just where I'm at right now I'll show you guys when I'm finished All right, the lights are on Woo! Oh, <laughs> It looked a lot brighter when I first showed you. This is super bright in here, but at night. Oh, this is gonna be a vibe I have finished Yes! Look at her! It only took me like an hour and 20 minutes, but I got it done. Well, David got this for me last year. Christmas 2022. I feel like at night, it's really gonna pop. I'll actually just show you guys. I think I'm really happy with what I have right now. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little walkthrough of what I have. Let's start in this corner over here. I have a jack-o'-lantern with an actual candle in there. I put up the canvas and I thought of the word frame. The frame. <laughs> I still need that. I think it'll really help it. I put a little ghosty here. He's turned on right now. So on my fireplace mantle, I have these three jack-o'-lanterns that are lit up with tea lights. And then down here, I have my little ghost. And then on the other side, I have my little ghost here. He's supposed to hold 
candy, but I make him hold my remote control. This was given to me by a subscriber. Jack-o-lantern and a kitty on it. it. Feels so nice and smooth. It's like a nice smooth river rock. And then on this side, I have a snow globe. It's a little haunted house in it. Let's shake it up. Ooh, spooky. And then on this side, I just put up the little ghost here. I thought I was gonna put these, those two together, the one over there and this one, but I think I like this one there. And I just put a ceramic skull on this side. And then on the other side, I have my tree, which took the longest <laughs> to put up. I mean, underneath the tree, I put some jack-o'-lanterns that light up, pumpkins. Oh, and I forgot to turn on. There we go. So yeah, that's my tree. I wouldn't do that with real candles. Then I put this ceramic jack-o'-lantern on this. You can barely tell, but it's on. And then on the kitchen, I did the top there just for ambiance. They look super, super bright. Almost a little bit red on camera, but they're really orange. And then a couple of jack-o'-lanterns up there. Those I got on Michael's like years ago. I carved her face out and I've kept them. So yeah, this is it. Ooh, I'm so happy with this. I think I might add some stuff, but I'm really, really trying to find cute ceramic, non-plastic decorations that I'm gonna keep for years. I'm seriously thinking of adding way more jack-o'-lanterns down there. I hope I'm inspiring you to start decorating. It's already September. We only have four months of this. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today is a very exciting day. I get to go to Oogie Boogie Bash. It's been years since I first went. I don't even think it was called Oogie Boogie Bash. I didn't even dress up. I did the trick or treat thing and I don't really remember what else happened. This year, I'm dressing up. I'm gonna go as Luca from Pixar's Luca and David is gonna go as Alberto. We thought it'd be cute because I know they say that they're not really gay characters, but come on. So that's not till later. I already bought my shirt, my shorts, but I'm also gonna do face paint. Face paint slash makeup. Not sure how this is gonna turn out. I've seen some tutorials on how to do mermaid makeup. If you don't know, by the way, you're probably like, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, Luca is a sea monster who turns into a human when he's out of water. So the movie is about him and Alberto, both of them sea monsters. They're trying to win the Puerto Rosso Cup, almost like a triathlon a race thing. Anyway, that's beside the point. When they get wet, they turn into the sea monster. So I'm trying to make it so that I look like I'm wet like right here in my face. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> Other than that, I'm bringing you guys along to the Oogie Boogie Bash because I feel like I would want to see that and see all the like villain characters and stuff. It's supposed to be really cool. I've seen lots of TikToks about this. I'm so excited. That's the plan for today. David's still working right now. He should be coming here in a couple hours and when he does, we're both gonna try to do try. Or do our makeup. It's cute that we're going as like a couple's costume almost. I'm wondering if it's too niche. Like, did you watch Luca? Do you know what Luca is? I think if you're part of the Alphabet Mafia, I think you know Luca and I think you get it. Like when you watch it, you get it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast. I made myself some huevos con jamón, scrambled eggs with ham. And yeah, I'm gonna start getting ready. Okay, okay. It's about time that I start getting ready. Picked up uh, this from the tailor. This isn't important right now, I have to go get dressed. All right, get ready with me. Wow, what <laughs> color. Got this on Amazon and I had to prop it. I think I spent a good couple hours trying to search for a shirt that looked kind of like Luca's and I settled on this one. I don't know. <laughs> Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. I also tried to do the little soup hair thing that he has. <laughs> I kind of look I don't think this looks like a costume. This just kind of <laughs> looks like I threw some random shit on. I think the makeup might make it better. If this is on my, because mm, we'll see. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Your hair. That guy saw me. <laughs> You do look like him a lot more than I look like Luca. I look like someone who just put some random shit on. Does he tuck it in? Yeah, it's tucked in. Cause that's why he has the belt on. What's the matter with you, stupido? What's wrong with you, stupido? So I watched a lot of tutorials. I'm not gonna look as good as any of these, but I'm just looking it for the color scheme. So it starts off like kind of aqua blue and it goes into uh, olive green. Okay, so it looks like probably that blue. I guess this one too, and then this green. We also have some face paint. I'm gonna try to do it with the eyeshadow first. Is this brush gonna be too big for this? All right, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh man, I'm getting some of the some of the other one. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> the nun. Mm. 
for a moment of truth. Wait, that doesn't look bad, right? No. It looks like scales. Okay. <laughs> That looks pretty good. I have purple box. <laughs> you don't like it? I don't. I was telling David how he looks like he kind of got a black eye. I look <laughs> stupid though. <laughs> Just look, us together, I feel like we kind of make it work a lot. I mean, it definitely works. Okay, I started using the face paint and I feel like I really like how it looks. I think it looks a little bit better. All right, y'all, this is as good as it's gonna get. I added a little bit to my face. <laughs> Come in and show them. Stupido! Silencio oh Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Alright, we just got here. Luckily, my makeup is still pretty good. I think you look more like your character because you're awake. I feel like I just look like a guy. <laughs> I see, I tried to do the hair swoop thing. Barely. You just like did your hair normal and you're like, here's a No, I tried to do the swoop. <laughs> Damn, y'all, look at this line. It's like way late in the day and people are already in line. Makeup's good. <laughs> Not running. Is it on my shirt? It's a little bit on my shirt. Yep. Okay. I put them on my home screen just in case anybody doesn't understand who we are. I can just point to this and be like, this is us. <laughs> About to go in. There's a lot of people in costume. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, welcome. <laughs> Have a great time. Thank you, you too. We're inside. What's wrong with you, estupido? Oh, she's handing you a bag. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> David's wanted merch. Oh, yeah. That was cute. This place is packed. Everybody's just trying to get their merch right now. Wow, that's actually really cool. What about this? You're gonna get this all of them? This is really cool. Well, I'm just gonna hold on to it so I can decide. Yeah. This one's really cool. This doesn't say Boogie Boogie Bash. This is just a video. No, it says it on the sleeve. It does wear. Okay, now the other one. I do prefer like the black. I feel like it adds a little bit of umph to it. But this one does look really cool, not gonna lie. Literally cannot move. It's okay. We got what we came for. Thank God I don't have social anxiety or this place would freak me out. He ended up wanting to get this one. Good choice, good choice. Better than that other hoodie I've been searching for. Oh, the yellow one? The one that's been sold out since day one. Okay, I went back into the craziness and I ended up getting a shirt for myself. Really liked it because it has all the villains on them. I'll show you right now. There's a lot of people here. So I ended up getting the one with all the villains on there. Look, it has Dr. Facilier, which he's my favorite. And then just like all the other ones. Boogie Boogie down there. Oh yeah, and you can wear it. It's black. It's and like it's black. It's <laughs> primarily black. You can wear it here. Boogie Boogie Bash. Halloween party 2023. Were you there? I was. All right, we are about to get some food. I'm hungry. We're going to the Cozy Cone and I'm getting the slow burning mac and cheese, which is supposed to be a seasonal item. Maybe a little bit spicier mac and cheese. We're gonna try, see how good it is. Cozy Cone, there she blows. She just yelled at her. He's She's like, what the fuck? Who the hell are you? She looks good. We just saw on these man. She looked really good. Two, 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 angel number. The universe is on my side. We got our cones. We ended up trading. I didn't really like it. Kind of tasted like it had line. So it's fucking hot. I stood in line directly under the sun. It felt like hours, but it was for like 10 minutes, but it felt so fucking hot. We're at Pim's Test Kitchen. My man needs his coffee. We're a long way through. from Italy. Oh, we are a long way from Porto Rosso. Wait, let me show you guys. The little pretzels up there. And then they take them to the big ones. We should go oh my God. And tell them they look good. You guys look really good. <laughs> we should have done that. We should have done that. I, I would have been Wanda. Do you know who we are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From movie, uh, oh, you're president. Do you, get those? Do you know who we are? Of course. Oh, wait. She knows. She knows. Woo! Somebody recognizes that. Silencio Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> she got it! Wow! You guys look good. We're standing next to each other. Nice! Luca! Alberto? Alberto Stefano. Scorpano. Scorpano. <laughs> Alberto Scorpano. <laughs> How stupid though. Three, two, one. Get in line, get in line, get in line. Ooh, yeah. The Lokis are about to meet Loki himself. He's over there. Everyone's costume looks so good. I think you guys are the only ones who do this. Oh, I thought she was going to say that. They're the only ones who don't look good. <laughs> I thought that by 6 most people would be gone. At 6 is when the event starts, but it looks like everyone here is part of the event. 
about to go in. What is this? Oh, it's nice and oh, What is this? I don't even know what this what is. is. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what this is. JK, this is an Oogie Boogie, we're leaving. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. We're like, wow, we got right in. You could have been winning for a championship. <laughs> I switched boxes. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything around here looks so cool. Wow. Hi, Ogie. Oh, look at this red sound car. Look at the picture we got. I mean, we'll have to edit it because we look blue, but he's like creeping in. <laughs> This is really cool guys. We're now in line to meet another villain. It's one of my favorites. It's a newer one, kind of it. And she looks so good. She's fashionably good. <laughs> there she is. I'm gonna get copyrighted so bad. Wow, these might be the real dresses there. They're behind glass, so I'm assuming. You ready? Yeah. I love Let's you too, amigo. Thank you. <laughs> Trick or treat. We got a Rice crispy. 13 minute. We're about to throw up everything we just have. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark. New uh, music and everything. It's supposed to be a little bit more intense too. They're gonna toss those out. <laughs> you go all the way up and then they drop you like a hundred times. If you don't like drops, this isn't the ride for you. Ultron. My little pal Groot is lost in the fortress somewhere. I'm like trying to hold on. <laughs> Sunday's ripping my arms off the bus. It was scary at the uh, end? Yeah, it was really scary. <laughs> David jumped. Sure. You pose, dude. <laughs> Girl, that was scary. Wanda. Taking a picture. I bet everyone wants to take a picture with her. She looks really good. Wait, is that actually Wanda? It's Wanda. She's with a cat lover. <laughs> she was an actual like, cat. What? I'm like, damn, everybody must be wanting to take a picture with her, and it's actually her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, hey, Wanda. She didn't even look at me. Okay, witch. You look good. Beautiful. You look very pretty. You keep yourself. Thank you. You're trying to be green, though. So yeah, a little. Just got a little wet. Did you find it? Uh, they have it. Get it. You have to get it. Better than that other hoodie I've been searching for. Oh, the yellow one? The one that's been sold out since day one. It's been so long. That's an insane. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Got my food. It's kind of disappointing. It kind of tastes like I'm eating just a, like a bean burger, but I don't know, it's not good. It's not great. Parfait, however, this is good. I feel like I've been drinking this like water. Probably because I'm thirsty too. Fries in there, fish them out. Do you guys eat your fries with a shake? Oh, I think the burrito's back there. I don't know if y'all ever watched Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but yeah. Judge too. He was freaky. He actually used to really scare me when I was little. Like, he's actually very scary. There he is. You should watch this movie. Yeah. <laughs> looking good, Judge, looking good. Thank you. Can I work for you? <laughs> Boss, do you have any special skills? No. <laughs> he can find rabbits. Can you? He can find cartoons. If you find the rabbit, that's all I need. Look for him. <laughs> Go now. <laughs> So oh, he's so creepy. He's really creepy. Yeah, he smiled. Yeah. <laughs> this is like dip everywhere. Okay. Stick my hand in there. Ah! Skip the drama. Stick with mama. Mama knows best. best. <laughs> I love your dagger. Oh, this? Yes. <laughs> I want to see if he smells like strawberries with the line so long. What's your favorite toy? That one?
walking red flag right there. God, uh, hi. Look at the evil the queen when she turned queen. into a hag. Yeah. I had to get in line to meet her. Okay. Yeah. Alberto. 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 Alberto.